guys welcome to the channel it's Delaney with Death and Candy today we're going to be making this a fourth of July look now this is a little bit extreme it's not your everyday wear but if you like to do something that's a little bit more artistic or if you just want to step outside your comfort zone believe me I thought I was going to get swallowed up and eaten alive in this look but thankfully I did not I was cool as a cucumber please stay tuned to watch the application of this video that will come at you in a three two one Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this 4th of July look. We're gonna be using quite a vast amount of different products today. I don't really have like a go-to palette that has a matte white, a matte red, or a matte blue that I really need to use. So we're gonna be picking up some things, but thankfully for the most part, everything is gonna be like one shade out of one thing. So it won't be any confusing things going on. So I will not be putting up a normal palette on the screen as I normally do. I'm just gonna be saying everything as I go. And of course, like always, I will link everything down in the description box so you can follow along there as well. So I'm gonna just show you like my face chart so you can kind of get the idea of what shapes are we going through because I honestly don't know how I'm going to start doing this. Basically going to be doing a look like this. Yeah, I've already done everything up until highlight because there was a highlight that I wanted to show you guys that I talked about recently that I got and I have an affiliation with this brand. My code is Fast Times. can save you 10%, but the name of the brand is Fair Beauty Cosmetics. And right now they're doing a limited edition sale on a highlighter, which is in one of their pressed pans, but it looks like an American flag. I'm just gonna hold that up here for you. So as you can see, they do a little press in there of stars, but it essentially has like a, let me get that a little closer, a pink, pinky red shade, a white shade, and a blue shade. So I'm gonna be using all three today. I'm not gonna necessarily do like a mixture of all of them. I'm gonna leave them very pronounced and different on the skin. This highlighter is available until July 31st. So even if you don't have it for the fourth, you can still buy it throughout the end of the month. To apply this highlight, I'm gonna be using a wet base, but I wanted to go with something neutral because I want those actual tones to show through. So I'm gonna be using the Glam Glow. This is more of like a moisturizer with a tint, but I like to use it for a liquid highlight, so. <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply that with like a little foundation brush from Wish. This is what I always use to apply my wet highlights. And if my face looks like a little crinkly, um, one of our friends came over right before I started filming and it's been two hours. <laughs> We're just gonna apply that to the highest parts of the cheeks. Tip of the nose. I just love the smell of this Glam Glow stuff. Like all of their stuff smells really great. I never had something that's like Bleh. So I'm going to take that highlighter and to apply it, I'm going to be using my Morphe brush, my E61. And so this brush is tapered. It has a very small ferrule, but it's a little bit longer than like the 510 that I normally pick up. So it's a little bit more like loose. And for these types of highlights from Fair, they are very like soft and silky. And so when you get into them, you don't experience a lot of fallout, but they are like super pigmented as far as the glow. And I'm going to apply the red part of the shade at the highest part of the cheek. I would say this is not like a true red. It's more of like a pink to make it a little bit more wearable, but I think it would look on great on any skin tone, to be honest. I'm going to try to dip into the white. It's kind of like in the middle. So if you don't want to buy like this limited edition highlighter, they do sell all the shades so you can buy them. I am loving this gradient. Oh my God. All right, dipping into the blue part now. Fair Beauty was like one of the first brands that I set up an affiliation with and they are so supportive. They're always commenting on their posts. They're always featuring them on their page. For the rest of the face, for the highlight portions, I'm just gonna mix all the shades. The blue kind of tends to overpower the white and the red, unless you really kind of pick into them. I'm sorry, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm really loving it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Like, I know you can see the glow. I'm gonna turn one of my lights down here and do like a little swipe swipe so you can see. If you like like more of a natural looking glow, you don't want a whole lot of glitter, like this is a good, it's a good brand for you. Let me turn one of my lights off so you can kind of see the glow. Okay. So you can really see that nice natural glow. It's kind of hard to pick up the pink because it's the highest part of my face, but you can definitely see the blue and the white. And it's just so beautiful. Like, I love them so much. Like, fuck. Damn, y'all. Let me turn this back on because my face is nasty. So we're going to start with the blues because that's going to make me have fallout. Most likely, I'm going to be using blues from the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. So it's basically a blue bud dupe. But I felt like the blues in here, I liked a little bit more for the style of blue that I was going for. I'm going to do the crease first. And like I said, I'm going to dip into Fine China. 
Let me pick up my crease brush here. This is gonna be the Morphe M330. I didn't prime my eyelids at all. I probably should have though. I'm not gonna care too much about the crease on this side because we're gonna be mostly covering that up. And then on the opposite side, this color is going to go under the eye. So we're gonna be switching over to a different brush to apply that. Let's go ahead and clean this one off. And then to apply underneath, I'm going to pick up the Morphe E36. It's just a little bit smaller of a brush. So normally when I'm doing my face, I put powder down everywhere. But today, because I'm doing this like weird up and down, I'm not doing any powder on the face. So the only really powder product besides contour that I put on was that highlight. And then we're just gonna smoke out the bottom. Eat. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more fine china. I haven't changed colors or anything. I'm going in with the same brush. Just gonna blend, blend, blend. Now we're actually gonna move on to the next color. So the one I'm gonna be using for the all over lid is the Mad About You shade, which is that metallic -y navy. And we're gonna take a packing brush for that. We just gonna pack it in. Just pack it in. This is the Sephora Pro 14. I really liked using this metallic shade when I did my two tone. I'll put that up in the eye so you can go watch it if you would like. So I'm getting a lot of fallout with this shade. And it's probably because I don't have like a wet primer or anything on my eye. It's just going to add to the look. And then we're going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Now, since I'm not doing blue in the crease on this left eye, I'm going to just bring it up over the lid and kind of stop there. Maybe go a little bit over just so I can clean it up a little bit before I go in with the red and the white. I'm just stippling this in here. We are done with the blue for now. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the bottom parts of my eyes. So when I have to go apply these stripes, it's going to make sense. I'm just gonna use a little bit of foundation and a triangle brush and just get that done real quick. Okie dokie. We're all cleaned up now. I went ahead and did my lid here as well. So hopefully that will dry down here relatively quickly. So when I was conceptualizing this, I was like, how am I gonna get these stripes the way I want them to be. So what I decided was that I was going to be using some gel liners from Distinction Brow and Lash since I have a red, white, and a blue. I don't know necessarily if I'll need the blue at this point, but maybe to touch up the star later that we'll be doing on the lid because I want to do that detail last. I think that it will take me the longest, plus I will need to really pack that down as soon as I get it ready to go. But we're going to go ahead and step into the stripes, and I think that we'll start with the red first and just get those knocked out. So we'll be using the shade Ready or Not. It's just, you know, your standard red, nothing fancy. We'll be going in with this to create our lines. And then to pack down the red, we're going to be stepping into the Glamlight Burger Palette in the shade Ketchup. It was just like the boldest red that I had. And so that's why I was like, okay, I'll use that one. It's a matte, so it should be really easy. The camera made it look really dark, but it's not that dark. So this is the time that you pray for me. I don't know if I should start with an angle brush first or just a flat brush. I'm gonna try the flat brush first to start the lines, and then I may try to use that for shading in. But this is a Morphe M432, so it's just a nice little flat brush here. And so hopefully that'll be easy to kind of like stamp those lines on. But we'll see. Okay. I could fuck with this. This is almost like too big to work with, so I may switch off brushes here in a second. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to a smaller brush because this is getting hard. Let's go to angled. So I'm gonna switch over to the Bodyography Pro. This is my favorite like angled liner to use. Yeah, so much easier to work with. I'll come back in and kind of clean up that waviness with the white. So I know this looks like my eye is bleeding right now. This is gonna take me a second. So I'm gonna speed through and then I will come back. This is the red stripes done. I know it looks kind of weird, but we're gonna add the white in there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish up with the red. Excuse my dog, cause he is just not having a good time. And this one will be going above the side on this one. Hold your breath for me. I'm trying to decide if that's how far I wanna go up. One thing I love about these is since I don't really use gel liners in a general sense on my every day to day, I'm trying to get into them more and I don't know what I was missing. Like I, I, going over this brow, man, I'm like, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, we're almost done with this red. And like, I am barely using like any of this. Like that's how pigmented this product is. What you need? Do you hate me? What do you mean do I hate you? What you doing? I'm fucking filming right now. That's why my door is blocked. 
it's going to come together. I just have faith in myself now. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and do the white before I pack on powder. I kind of feel like I need to pack on powder first, to be honest. I think I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back to do the white. Y'all tell me what plans you have for the 4th of July. Obviously, I'm going to air this video on the 4th, which is a Thursday. So, I mean, hopefully people are off work. I'm going to be off work. Am I going to do anything with my life? No. Honestly, the 4th of July pisses me off. People are just out being the most red of neck and it's just so many fireworks. Like I'm sure as soon as like the 30th comes, it's gonna be nonstop fireworks like that whole next weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Glamlight Burger Palette Ketchup Shade. It's really bright, so I think it's gonna brighten up this red really nicely. And I'm just gonna apply that over where we have all of the gel liner. And I am so sorry if all you hear is dogs behind me. There's like five dogs in my house right now. I'm just using the same ankle brush to apply this. And then I'm just kind of kind of blend it out at the bottom. Like not sure how weird that's getting or what. It's covering it nicely. It's taking away some of like the blue parts of that from it mixing with my foundation. So I like the way that looks after I went over it with the powder. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to this side and then I will be right back. Okay, so I liked how I got that all well blended out. I'm going to jump into the white now. Mm -hmm. So for the white gel, I have the shade White Noise. So it's just your standard white gel liner inside. This one was pretty creamy when I first got it. So it's probably going to be a little bit harder to work with versus the Ready or Not. It's kind of dried a little bit because I have used it a couple of times. But also it wasn't as creamy when I initially got it. So pray for me. I do have a smaller brush that I could use, but I'm afraid that it's going to be a little too flimsy. So we'll see how that works. I'm going to try with the ankle brush first and just see where that gets us. I would leave it just new, but it looks weird. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. I think as long as I have enough product on there when I'm applying it next to the red, it should be fine. My fucking natural bags under my eyes are so bad. Like just this wavy girl. I'm gonna keep ready or not open so I can kind of correct as I go because I don't want to keep like having to touch this up. So I'm just gonna set this brush down. I am gonna take that smaller brush that I was referencing before. This is the Morphe M250 Zero. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of red product onto there so I can just kind of smooth out any lines that occur that I don't want. Am I getting better or am I just... Do I just have a really bad time before? <laughs> I just... I don't know. And the brow is gonna be the hardest part. Like it looks okay but it's just... Up close. No. I'm glad I wasn't trying to go for like 13 stripes because no. I honestly thought I'd have a harder time doing this line work. Like the under eye was kind of a bitch, but the top I was like, <laughs> it's done. And for the white shade that I have, it's just a single from Give Me Glow. It's just a matte white. This is in the shade Marshmallow. I'm going to use the angle brush as well for this. Hopefully I cleaned it off enough. Just a little bit more clean for a little bit more extra. I haven't had a chance to really use this matte white yet, so first impressions are everything. And then just like the red, we're gonna just diffuse the white out. I don't really know if you'll be able to see it. Okay, so this side's done. So you can see that white shadow really helped it pop a lot more because it's mattifying it as well. <laughs> this poor angle brush, like I am definitely not using it all. Oh, the the way that you should use an angle brush. And I'm confused. <laughs> like, Texas, what is you doing? So I guess it's going to storm today. I have been seeing like notifications all week, but like with Texas, you never really know until it's already happening. All right, so there's that. I was gonna do like a star on the lid. I guess I really need to do it because this is not gonna look good. And I'm gonna take that small brush that I had before and do this star. We're just gonna hope that that works out. This is either going to end really badly or really greatly. I'm just like, is it a star? Who knows? I just got to get this gel dried because it will just transfer like a motherfucker otherwise. It should have just done a stencil. Is it even centered? We're going to go in on the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and set this bitch with powder and then I'm going to try to clean it up with blue. Hello powder, my old friend. I'm like, does a star have a rounded top or is it a point? Who knows? I was going to do a winged liner with the Pretty Vulgar. You saw me try this in my pride look and thank God I had that because that glitter would have just been a no. 
like just a surreal big nope. So I'm going to apply that with an angle brush. I guess I'm gonna use the same angle brush that's been <laughs> showcasing this entire time. And honestly, this look doesn't even need a wing liner. I just thought it would be cool. We're just gonna take that into the waterline as well. Cause I mean, why not make my eye look even smaller? Okay, that's a, that's a wing. I'm gonna take the inner corner out just a little bit, but we are gonna be adding some glitter there. So it doesn't have to be super precise, but it's just to take that line in a little bit. I feel like those wings relatively match. I'm gonna go ahead and put the mascara on. I'm just using the Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up. So I'm gonna go back into the highlighter real quick. I'm just going to apply it on the brow bone and back on the cheeks where I felt like I kind of lost it. I am going to keep the gradient on this brow bone I have over here. And then while I'm dipping into each color, I'm just gonna go back in over on the cheeks and just reapply it a little bit. But it is really just a gorgeous highlight. Like you need it in your life if you don't have it. You need any highlighter from them, to be honest. I don't even care if you use my code. You should use my code, but if you don't, I mean, that's also fine, but you should. But if you've never bought anything from Dear Katie Brown and you like glitter, uh, you're missing out. I don't know how you would have not bought anything from them by this point. This is just the single in Terror Made Me Cruel, which is kind of funny for doing such a patriotic look to use something with the name terror in it. And I'm just gonna apply that into the inner corner. I'm gonna use a brush though, because these nails are too long. And to apply that, I'm just gonna be using like a shitty little paddle brush from Wish. Not really worth mentioning, but it's just flat essentially. These glitters are so beautiful because of the mixture medium in them that they stay really creamy, but not like sticky and they just make it super easy to apply but you could really apply these with a finger i just don't want to get into this tiny of an area with a fingernail and i like their glitters in a different way that i like the hip dot glitter palette because these have varying sizes in them which has pros and cons so with any glitter you should be very careful getting it close to your eye so like when i remove this eye makeup i have to be very careful on which way i'm going to wipe these glitters because they will cut you they can damage your eye like any glitter can which is why cosmetic grade glitter is normally very like fine it's micro glitter since i have like stripes coming in onto one side i'm kind of like slightly tilting the glitter application versus where how i would naturally apply it so one side is a little bit lower one side's a little bit higher kind of like you know how a yin and yang symbol look. Lashes today I'm going to be using the Pretty Weird Cosmetics from the Mother Lash book and this is the Style 15. They're the second biggest in the palette. Well, they're one of the two biggest. If you can't also use your lashes as a mustache, your lashes are too small. So I'm going to jump off camera, do this fucking lip. These are the two shades, so very bright red, very bright blue. So I'm going to go ahead and get into those and I will be right back with lips and lashes done. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. So I am in love. I feel like I went way about my comfort zone. I don't ever really do looks like this, especially not holiday looks. I'm like, cool, it's a holiday. Like, uh, unless it's Halloween, like I'm not really into it. But, like, honestly, this is more than like anything that I've ever really done just in general with makeup. So I am so glad that it came to fruition the way I planned it. I didn't have any like huge snags. I, the only thing I really wish I could have done better were the stars, but I mean, Whatever. You could tell that they're stars. That's, uh, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. I didn't end up really doing like an ombre when I was mixing the two colors together. They kind of were not marrying the way I thought initially they would. So I just kind of still mix them together to make this like navier color. And I, I mean, it's still good. It's still good. You could also pair a red lip with this, or if you wanted to take a chance and do white, you could also definitely do that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I, I'm thinking about it now and like editing. I'm like, I hope this is not like just literally boom, boom, boom. And then the book is done. You don't really get to see me create it. So a lot of it I didn't film as I went through because I didn't want to just like struggle on camera and take up a bunch of my time and battery. So you know, but thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I'm going to go ahead and do close-ups now. So those will be coming at you in three, two, one.
hope that you subscribe before you go. If not, you know, that's also fine. But if you do subscribe, ring the bell because I do do spontaneous uploads. Even today, I'm not uploading on a day that I normally upload on. So please hit the bell before you go. You can also follow me on all my social medias down below. It's all Death and Candy 27. I have a Facebook page and a Instagram page that I post on daily. They are linked. So anything that you'll see on Instagram will be the same on Facebook, but I do also upload my YouTube videos there as well. So if you don't use YouTube as a platform or Instagram as a platform, you can also get those on Facebook. But thank you guys again so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!